Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, isosceles uh, trapezoid A, B, D, C fully inscribed uh, in a semicircle with a center O, oh, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, base uh, A, B of this uh, trapezoid is 9 units. The other base uh, C, D, which is also the chord uh, being represented by X. And furthermore, uh, these uh, legs uh, AC and uh, BD are uh, three units each. And now our task is uh, to calculate uh, the length uh, CD. In other words, uh, we are going to find the value of uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, trapezoid uh, ABDC. Since uh, this side length uh, is parallel to this uh, side length. And this trapezoid is called uh, an isosceles uh, trapezoid. Since uh, this leg uh, is uh, same as uh, this leg. And in this uh, next step, I am going to connect uh, these points uh, B and C. As you can see in this uh, next step. And now let's recall the Thales theorem. According to this theorem, if uh, A, B and C are our three distinct points uh, on the circle, where the line uh, A, B is the diameter, then the angle A, C, B is a uh, right angle. In other words, uh, the angle is going to be 90 degrees. So no wonder this angle uh, A, C, B is going to be a 90 degree angle since the points uh, A, B and C are indeed on the circle. And we can see A, B is the diameter of this semicircle. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle ACB, whose uh, side lengths are uh, 9 and 3. And now we are going to calculate uh, this side length uh, BC. So therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, uh, our hypotenuse is uh, 9, whereas uh, our other two legs are uh, 3. And this uh, side uh, bc, I'm going to label this one as lowercase uh, m. And now we are going to find out the value of uh, m. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we got uh, m square plus uh, 3 square equals to 9 square. Let's simplify furthermore. m square plus 9 equals to 81. Let's subtract 9 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, m square value turns out to be 72. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both sides. So therefore, our uh, m value turns out to be equal to 6 uh, times uh, square root of 2 units. So therefore, our this m value turns out to be 6 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 2. And in this uh, next step, I have dropped this perpendicular CE on this uh, side AB. And now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles. In other words, the sum of these two angles, alpha plus beta, must be equal to 90 degrees. Let's assume that this uh, angle is our angle uh, alpha. We know this uh, angle is 90 degree angle. So therefore, uh, this tiny angle is going to be our angle uh, beta. And we know this angle is uh, 90 degree and this angle is beta. So therefore, this angle has got to be our angle alpha. And furthermore, we know this uh, angle is 90 degrees. This uh, angle is alpha. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be our angle beta. So therefore, we conclude uh, that uh, this tiny right triangle uh, AEC and this uh, big uh, triangle uh, ACB are our uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. And since uh, these two triangles are similar, so therefore we are going to have uh, proportions. So therefore uh, the ratio EC divided by AC is going to be equal to the ratio BC and uh, AB. 
and now let's make an observation we can see that our this uh, side uh, ac is uh, three units so i'm going to replace uh, that one with three units our this uh, bc length uh, is uh, six times uh, square root of two so therefore i'm going to substitute uh, six times square root of two value over here and finally our this uh, a b this whole uh, diameter length uh, is uh, nine so therefore i'm going to replace that one with nine over here so therefore i can write uh, a c divided by three equals to six times square root of two divided by nine and now i'm going to multiply both sides uh, by three to isolate uh, e c length and here we can see this three and three is gone so therefore uh, our this uh, e c length uh, turns out to be if we simplify everything on the right hand side uh, that is uh, going to give us uh, two times uh, square root of two so thus our this uh, perpendicular uh, ce length uh, turns out to be two times the uh, square root of two units and now let's focus on this uh, small triangle uh, aec whose uh, side lengths uh, are uh, three and two times the uh, square root of two and we are going to calculate uh, this missing side uh, a e and i'm going to label uh, this uh, missing side uh, a e as uh, lowercase y and we are going to find out the value of y now so therefore we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our pythagorean theorem once again a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, this uh, three is uh, the hypotenuse whereas our two other legs are two times uh, square root of two and y let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this uh, pythagorean formula so we got uh, y square uh, plus uh, two times uh, square root of two whole uh, square equals to three square let's simplify that is going to give us y square uh, plus uh, eight equals to nine let's subtract eight from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore y square value turns out to be one and now i am going to undo this uh, square by taking square root on both uh, sides so therefore uh, our y value turns out to be positive one so therefore our this uh, y value turns out to be one and that is our this tiny segment length and in this uh, next step i have dropped this perpendicular df uh, on this uh, side ab and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, tiny segment ae and this segment uh, fb are uh, equal by symmetry if this side length uh, is one then this segment uh, fb is going to be one as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this whole uh, diameter ab is going to be equal to the sum of these segments uh, ae plus this uh, segment ef plus this segment uh, fb as you can see in this uh, equation and now let's make an observation once again uh, this uh, cd length uh, is uh, equal to this uh, ef length if this uh, length is x uh, then this uh, ef length is going to be x as well as you can see in this uh, next step this uh, cd length uh, is equal to this uh, ef length let's go ahead and fill in the blanks uh, in this equation so we got ae length is one plus uh, cd our length is uh, x uh, plus uh, fb length is once again one equal to ab length is uh, nine let's simplify we got x uh, plus uh, two turns out to be equal to nine and now we are going to subtract two from both sides this is uh, gone so therefore uh, our x value turns out to be seven uh, units so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our x value turns out to be seven units and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye